Uh, it is 647 right now, keeping your vote safe. That is what the city of Waukesha says it is doing for every step of the process when you cast your ballot. Our Waukesha County reporter Rebecca Clough met up with Pat and Linda to see all the behind the scenes work being done for a secure election. It's very interesting um, to see the checks and balances that go on. Pat Hanke signed up to be a volunteer poll worker in Waukesha after the 2020 election. Her main job has been dealing with absentee ballots. They go from being safe at City Hall, coming to the polling place, we open them and that nobody else has access to them. There's always somebody with the ballots. You said you have a partner with you, you can't open the ballots by yourself? No, there's always got to be two people there. Linda Gordo is readying all the ballot printers for in-person absentee voting. She has watched over elections for decades. She retired as the deputy clerk of McGuanago, and now she's serving as the interim clerk for Waukesha. And then it's good to back up. She showed us how she sealed the machines and how she would know if they were touched. This is the way it looks, but if you pull it open, it, it definitely shows that it's been tampered with. Then we went behind two sets of locked doors to see the machines that count the ballots. These are the voting tabulators. It will be up to the chief inspector at each polling location to make sure they're locked and sealed. There's no ballots inside and that this reads zero on election day. Not a ballot will be counted before election day. That's the law. Finally, we saw the locked room where the return absentee ballots are being stored. Pat will eventually help count those votes, but right now she's still sending out ballots for mail-in votes. Most of us think we just go and vote, but behind the scenes and before that happens, it's unbelievable the work that has to go into it. You can see the voting tabulators work for yourself. The public test is next Tuesday, October 29th here at Waukesha City Hall at 9 a.m. In Waukesha, Rebecca Clough, TMJ4 News. Well, we continue looking into election issues most important to you. Coming up at noon, Brendan Jones shows you a lose by less strategy in Milwaukee County that may end up playing a big role on election night. In the four o'clock hour, Glenda Valdez tells us what you won't see on election day in Kenosha County. And at six, Andrea Albers shows us the steps some communities in Milwaukee County are taking to prevent cyber attacks.